Hello everyone, Cliff here again in the shed. Now, if you watched me last video, you'll know that I blew up the VFD on me MCO lathe. Now, if you have watched me other videos, you may know that I took the motor off of my ML7 to put on the MCO lathe, but I bought a VFD to do that with. Um, this is the VFD that actually came with the motor that I've got on the MCO lathe, which I kept on the ML7. The reason I didn't want to put this on the ML on the uh, MCO was purely because of the size of it. I want it on the left of the lathe, and there's a cupboard on the left, so this would have shut the cupboard up. So I didn't want to put that on there. So I made up that the VFD for it. But while I'm waiting for the other VFD to turn up, I thought I'd have a look at this and see if I can alter it and put it onto my MCO. And the other reason is the um, emergency stop on this has come loose and I've got to get into the casing to try and tighten that up from behind. So worst way is I'm going to be able to tighten that up. Now you can't just get into these, they're riveted here, 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 and at the ends. So you can't get into the actual casing, so I've had to drill the rivets out. And I'm about to open it up and have a look at it. Got a little warranty label here, I think that's... I'm past, past caring about with that. So I'm just going to open it up and see what we've got in here. Well, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get when we open this up. You don't, that's what we got. Okay, alright, so in here we've just got like a VFD, so it's a Mitsubishi E500, which is held into the case with four screws. So I'll undo them and pull that out. Find the screws right. I'll do that. So that's it, that's out. <clears throat> right, so this is what's in a Newton Tesla. Right, so it shouldn't be too much trouble really, take the knobs off, take the switches out. There's my emergency stop. And the wiring just comes off of these for the switches. Much the same as I did with the one I, one I put in there. So it's got a couple of lights on it and it's an infinitely better one than the Chinese one. I've got no problem with that Chinese one. I'd certainly have another one. That didn't die, I killed it. So I don't know if I'm going to have to extend these cables because this has got a lot of depth. It's got a very, very big heat dissipator. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna have to see if I can get these switches off. I think I'll make a note of where all the wiring is first. And see if I can actually swap this over onto the MCO. Well, <clears throat> I've got it all to bits. I've been as careful as I can. Uh, made plenty of notes. Took some photos. But I am a little bit apprehensive about getting it all back together. So now I've got to go and dismantle the MCO and try and see if I can fit this into the little cover and that I made for it. Because I don't even know if I can do this yet. Oh well, tidy this up and uh, get the MCO bits. So here's the gubs out of the MCO. So now I've got to dismantle all this. My plan obviously is to try and put all these gubs into this one and all that gubs into this one and mount this somewhere in the cupboard on the MCO. Right, let's start taking it a bit soon. Well, I've got all the gubs out of here now, which is this pile over here. What I've got is a bench full of bits and it would be fair to say I've got more than a few misgivings about getting it all back together again. Oh well, one wouldn't that would. And I'm really tired. I want to knock it on the head but I'm scared I'll forget too much so I'm going to have to carry on. Right, it's all back together. Now to give it a try, see if it works. God I hope it does because if it don't I am buggered. Right, it's all back in there. <coughs> all wired up, all plugged in. Off we go. working as it did on the other one <clears throat> as Mickey Flanagan would have said I'm back in the game well now is all I've got to do is sort out the uh, ML7 see you in the next one bye for now